I'll try and get into another raid nice and quick so we're not uh, missing out on chumming during the day. Another bit of shotgun ammo somewhere. Looks like we're going to have to take some slugs just to be safe. Cool, we go again. You know, actually, like that podcast I was listening to, um, the 21 Brutal, Brutally Honest Lessons, there was a talk a little bit about like work and work ethic and stuff. And it was really interesting. There was this one statement. It's like, write a list of everything you're not willing to give up, right? Like, and then he said, that's the list of things that someone who's going to be more successful than you is willing to give up. And it's actually kind of true because when I like started content creation, I wanted to be as successful as possible. I literally gave up everything. Like, I'm like, even my relationship with my wife, like we barely spent time together, but she understood what we were trying to achieve. I didn't go to family events, didn't go to funerals, weddings, nothing. I, I barely took a day off. I just worked. And it's kind of true. It is kind of true. Like if you want to have like luxuries in life, you actually, I guess, fall behind everything else or everyone else in the actual industry or in the business you want to do. Oh, Shiva, thanks for 13 months. Fly Guru 85, thanks for the prom. Turbo 1999 000, thanks for six months. Oh, there's a player up there. Should I just try and ambush him? I just don't, I I just don't have the range. That's the only problem. Can't see him that well. Hopefully they didn't see me. trouble. I have no cover. Kind of curious. No, I didn't get him. I thought it might have been a duo, because that was a pretty clean slug shot to hit him in the head. There was actually a shot over here. I'm going to go back for it. Could be someone placing down the markers on the um on the tanker. There's still a slug in there. Jacob, thanks for the prom. Oberus Swarm. Or Worm. Thanks for 21 months.
Sit him in the head. Fuck, I didn't even see him there. Damn it. <sighs> GG. He kind of blended in perfectly with the rail there. The blue helmet just like sucks. I definitely hit him square in the head with the slug, but unfortunately, wasn't enough pen to get through the blue helmet. 108 damage I did in the one hit. The slug to the head. 17 damage to the body and 108 to the head. Or to the armor, sorry. It'd be funny if like you shot someone in the head with a slug, it would knock them over. Like they'd like get forced to go prone. People would get so mad. Or it should make it so you can't run for like a little bit. Like you, you like lose all ability to move. You just kind of go like stand still. I don't think we have much. Oh, we've got more slug ammo. Cool, if we're quick, we might be able to get one more. I probably should have been a little bit more patient with that guy after I shot him in the head. I just didn't want him to like run out the back and just run away and, and like heal and stuff. I, I was hoping I could make him feel a little bit more nervous. You know, you know when like when you get shot like that, you're like, oh my god, I'm scared, and then like, the panic kicks in. All right, our focus is chumming. So we'll get got some gold chains if we can, and then we'll hunt players. Penis. Bullshit. Oh, respirator. Uh, I need a respirator for decontamination. Just give me a second, please. I fucking hate slugs. Oh, look at this. Does it not look like he's got... Oh, maybe I'm tripping. I'm gonna use SKS. Yeah. Thank you for getting the <laughs> kill and jumping. Yes, <laughs> I a panic in that part. No! <laughs> Lisa!
He was hiding a camera, yeah. I need a chumming done, so... It would have been nice to let him live, but... Need one more PMC kill for chumming. I've caused so much noise. Or at ammo. Fuck. That hurt. Am I actually at ammo now? Gotta run around. Do it nice and quick. We should keep that one. Get rid of the other one. Oh, the pilgrim on the left. That's the pilgrim. Thanks, mate. I left my meds in there.
the booch. Thanks for 29 months. I'm bleeding now. <laughs> of course I'm bleeding. You have a bandage in the zook? No, I don't. All right, that's hot delivery done. I can't believe we've got two gazelles today. All right, hopefully we can make it back. Well, honestly, think we just stay in here and kill as many scouts as we can. I don't know. Got other option is to get out, and we've got a couple extra respirators, but. Do I extract the land for hardcore? Yeah. If we both put a brown paper bag over our heads, we look completely alike. Does this make you my dad? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense to me. Do we have Emicon? We've got Railway. Motor. We're done with Nick Saws.
We've got a chumming kill. We've got hot delivery done. We have a couple of motors, which is actually really huge. Um, a, two drills turns into one motor as well. I got a couple of respirators. I think it's it's worthy of a reset. <laughs> I can't believe that spot where the guy was placing his marker. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, no. <laughs> oh, that made me so happy. I've been in that exact situation before too. <laughs> oh, go away, Scav. I can't, I honestly didn't think we were going to finish hot delivery just because there's no barter trade for gazelles. I'm like, it's, it's going to be so long for us to find a gazelle. Like we'll never find one. And then we also have to go back into interchange to drop it off. The fact that we got those two down is just sweet. Yeah, there's no more barter for gazelles. You have to find them in raid. Do you need gazelle for a task? You need it for two. Um, so a good part two and hot delivery. So you need to find four of them. What do you think about buying clothes on Ragman in Hardcore? Yeah, I could do that. Just like keeping the defaults, I guess. Uh, I think we got respirator kills after number one. Like the first one gave us a respirator. So what's that? 10 more kills? That's nice. That was actually really good. And hot delivery. Right, let's hand in hot delivery. It's a scavenger, which I think we might already have done. Yeah, that's good. And that's Ragman rep done too. That was a cheeky 37,000 XP. All right, Vents is ready to upgrade, which means we can get Generator 3, which I think needs more, more motors. The Generator needs, needs three motors. Okay, we need one more spark plug, a relay, and three power supplies. Yeah, that chews up all our four motors. So what do we need? We need two more motors. Okay, three metal spare parts. One spark plug, two motors, one relay, three power supplies. If we can get that, I don't think we need drills for anything else. So I think I might just craft a drill now. Is it laboratory, is it? Oh, sorry, a motor. Motor, I'm after.
cool. All the fame. Uh, we need light bulbs and one more of the lease as well. It is possible that we're going to get generator three now, which is huge. Um, after that, we might get some more wires as well because we're going to need some for that. Yeah, we should try and be try and find these while we're, we're doing this stuff. So, because power supplies are inside computers, a relay. All right, and now we have plenty of respirators. So for decontamination, we need 16 more scav kills. It's possible that we actually get that, you know. Um, repair that. We do need more shotgun ammo. And nicely enough, we just need one more kill for chumming. We get one more kill for chumming. And then from there, it's just place them down on Woods Customs Interchange. And uh, that leads to heaps of tasks. So that's cool. All right. Uh, cash for the car. All right, I gotta go to the bathroom. Back in a minute. Oh man. Did you see him? Sorry, I was as quick as I could. He was above me? That just sucks. All right, yeah, sorry about that. I oh, was gone potty. I went longer than I went. I thought I would. All right. All right, we go again. How many more survives of interchange do we need? Three. I'm going to go to max traders, but then I might also go for Kappa. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to, I'm going to get to max traders. And then once I get to that point, I'm going to take a break until uh, the YouTube series catches up a bit. And then I'll decide if I want to go for Kappa or not. At this stage, we have gotten past some of the quests I thought I'd really struggle with. The only task right now that I can think of, sorry, there's two tasks that I can think of that would be very difficult. It's going to be Punisher Part 6. I need SVDs and Test Drive. If I can get past those two tasks, I honestly think I could get Capra on Hardcore. But Test Drive is going to be that task where I either get it done in one life or I'm going to just not be able to finish it. Because getting getting the sight, the gun, all that stuff is just painful. Test Drive is you got to get five PMC kills with an M1A using a specific sight and suppressor over 60 meters. So the only way I could think of doing it would be probably going to Lighthouse and just sitting somewhere and just hoping that people will come past. I think that's probably the best way we could do it. It has to be PMC kills. Not allowed to buy from traders, no. It's not the M1As that's the problem, guys. It's the site. I also have to get the site. And even if I did get the site, I have to get the mount for the site, which is frustrating too. Doesn't have to be in one raid. Five PMC operators over 60 meters while using an M1A with a hybrid suppressor and the Schmidt and Bender site. All with, I can get an M1A, I can get the hybrid suppressor. The site is a little bit frustrating, but the mount for the site is actually hard. To get so that's where that's where it gets tough but yeah the um the thing that i think would be the, the big pain will be that task if we can get past test drive then cap it would definitely be possible but i don't want to do like i don't want to die trying to do test drive and then spend another 100 raids trying to get the gun back for test drive I've been looking non-stop, Jim Banson. I've got an extra sight at the moment. So technically I could make two guns. So for this raid, I'm gonna try and look for gold chains again. 
to drop them off and then kill scarves and then get the books and get out. That's pretty much the goal for this raid. Check for gold chains. Kill some scarves, get out. We've got to get three more survives done. Someone's turned the power on. One gold chain. God, it's hiding right there. John B. Glass is just on scabs. Looking for killer, I think. Scav. I panicked then. Oh, I'm dead.
tried. <sighs> I actually kind of wish I had a 153 there instead. It would have made a big difference. It's hard when they're so geared. But that guy was super geared. I reckon I did a fair bit of damage. Obviously, I killed those two scavs, but... He didn't know where I was when I shot him at that end bit. I thought when I shot him, I thought he ran across to the right at the end bit. And that's why I was trying to hit him while I was in the open. I was just going to try and uh, Magnum Buck shot him in the legs and finish him. Probably just go this. What's our other option? Do we have ammo? Got a little bit. We are really low in meds now. I suppose if I go that, I can actually take this until we find something else. Right. You have to wear a task to wear the mask, yes. Now he thinks it's seven months. Atomic number 11 was first isolated by Humphrey Davy in 1807. Right. A chemical component of salt. He named it Na in honor of the saltiest region on Earth, North America. <laughs> I'm going to trigger people with saying stuff like that. I think I got them all. Or not? Or maybe not. Fucking get out of the tab! I pressed tab like nine times then. It would not get out of it. Now my stomach's blown. How many more do I need? Nine.
falling art. Still saying I've dehydrated, but I've, I've drank. Stop hurting me. Oh, we're running. Was our extract, you know? Railway. Fuck. Shots, I'm hoping they're above me. We've got about two and a half minutes before we're out of stamina. Need to ball necklace next to the two months. Rude. Miss Moody, thanks for two months. Gavs are delivering today. This is what I sound like when I have to get out of bed on Monday. <laughs> Pack a day smoker, hungover. You know, the funny thing is, like, I was actually thinking about it when I woke up this morning. I'm like, I was excited to stream today. Like, I think, I think I'm very lucky or, or privileged to get up on a Monday and, and be excited to, to work, you know? Probably the good thing about having weekends off and I, I don't do any gaming on the weekends. It's like, come Monday, it's like, yeah, fuck yeah, let's do it.
I know being a streamer is more than just gaming, but not a bad gig still. I think I think becoming a successful streamer is a hell of a grind. But once you become successful, it's it's definitely um a lot cruisier, a lot more cruisier. All right, seven more scabs. That's a big one, this, because it leads to a lot of quests, if I'm not mistaken. So three markers on woods. Still need to get them. Uh, how are we looking on decontamination? Seven more scab kills. That's all the shotgun ammo we have, I think. The food and drink. That'll do. Have we finished Junkie? Nope. Oh, need five more kills. Cool. So we can do Blood of War, Junkie, and uh, Chumming at the same time. We have an armor. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so let's uh, try to eat that first. Player or a scav? Scav. Some taco. <clears throat> Peter, how you going, mate? Thanks for 17 months. <clears throat> Hope this guy's a gun. It's not a toz. Got a gazelle on, I think. Right. I'm gonna get shopping out here. Oh, nice backpack. I wonder if that's going to have enough clearance. Probably not. 
to good ammo at least. Uh, we'll give it a go. Have a look. Not really. I think we've killed, what, four scavs so far? We've got three to go. Two to go. <clears throat> Remove the rear sight. Cool. <clears throat> Should help a little bit at least. I think I'll go underneath and instead of straight up the center. Come up the ramp. I'm going to leave this on the ground. I know I need more armors, but it makes you a lot noisier if you're heavy. Runwick, thanks for 10 gifted. Trevor online, thanks for three months. If you got gifted sub guys, make sure you say thanks. Get some sloots up in the chat for the 10 gifted. That killer. Nah, it's a player. He was literally just hiding behind there. Like there's no, there was no way for him to run up to that. He was just waiting there. Not a very good player if he's just hiding down there all day. I don't have any shotgun ammo, so. What made Hardcore Season more fun for you than the previous one? You've been having a good day throughout. That one, four hours of getting your teeth kicked in day aside. I think, and I don't want to put it down to one thing, but I think the recall changes made it so I actually stood a chance against guys that were geared. Like there's been multiple times I've picked up a stock AK, for example, and, and being able to spray down a geared guy. Whereas in the past, like you'd spray at a geared guy and he just turned into beam you because he had like a meta AK or a meta M4 and you just stood no chance. I think ground zero was also a big reason why I enjoyed this uh, start. So instead of being smashed on all the maps, um, just trying to get going. Having ground zero as a place where I can actually just fight lobies just kind of gave that baseline, just get over the, the first hurdle. So I think that was actually really huge. Go have a break and do something else, go Carters. I, honestly, the best thing you can do, guys, when you die in Tarkov is just say GG next. Like, and just blame yourself. Just go, I should have, I shouldn't have re-peaked. I should have flanked. I should have ran away. Like, just blame yourself. If you go down the mindset of like, I wonder if that guy was cheating. I wonder if that guy was cheating. I wonder if that guy was cheating. You'll literally just, you'll turn really sinister and nasty and you just won't enjoy it. And I can guarantee you, if you're in a five-man squad or like a, even just like a two or a three-man squad, a lot of the times you die, your teammate will stomp them because like, they just got the jump on you. A lot of the time it's just, they just got the jump on you. Like that guy in the bottom of that, there, if I was like with a Red Ops on my main account and that guy got the jump on me and killed me there, Red Ops would have just clapped him straight away. Like, not that saying he was sus at all, but like, you could easily get in the mindset, oh, motherfucker, another guy just cheating and ESPing, camping, radaring, all the, you know, words you want to use. Are there many cheaters in this game? Yeah. Let's not get down this path. <laughs> Who knows? Probably. Arguably. Alright, if the scavs are going to charge me. There's many cheaters in a lot of games. Counter-Strike. Not so. This one just is really punishing when you die to someone cheating. Oh, fuck. Really?
little bitch. Little bitch. That's a scav. I think you're dying. Very observant of you, sir. Oh, little bitch. Never worried. Sure. Wait, he shot me in the leg with a rip, a rip round? Yes.